All right, what's up with you guys? It is Josh back with another video and in today's video I'm gonna be covering the absolute essentials of being a youtuber I'm gonna be going through the multiple stages of actually making videos uploading videos I'm gonna be going through the process of recording editing uploading all those things so If you guys are thinking about starting a YouTube channel This is probably a great video to watch because it's gonna cover all bases that you guys might need to know about But if you guys do enjoy the video you want to support me make sure to like comment subscribe It helps me out a ton and with all that out the way. Let's get right into it All right guys, so I'm gonna be briefly touching up on almost every single thing and the first thing that I'm I'm going to be showing you guys is Streamlabs. And the crazy thing is I'm recording right now as we record this video and we can see that this right here is the screen Streamlabs window. We can see that it's recording right here. Uh, so welcome to the multiverse of recording, uh, if that makes sense. But I'm going to quickly be showing you guys Streamlabs is super easy to actually use. All you have to do is you just add a source, a display uh, capture right here, which will just record your monitor. Um, I also am using the camera as we speak. You can see this is also on my screen. So I'm using my camera to record. And then what I'll do is I'll overlay the two uh, could be different if you use your phone but this is just how you do it on PC uh, so you're gonna do Streamlabs. I'm quickly gonna be showing you guys the settings that I use uh, these are all my recording settings right here if you want to just follow along with that uh, just like that and then audio are these ones right here super basic uh, just I use Streamlabs. Streamlabs is the greatest so just do that it has a great beginner orientation uh, part at the very beginning to allow you to understand the software a lot better and uh, yeah I'm gonna have a link to download that in the description make sure you go check that out if you want and now I'm actually gonna be moving on to the portion of how you can actually edit the footage once you've actually recorded it using Streamlabs OBS. And by the way, guys, the software I'm going to be using for this is DaVinci Resolve. I love DaVinci Resolve so very much. It's a great beginner software, especially when you start out on YouTube. It's the best software to be using. It just has a great beginner layout and it's just super easy to understand. There are a ton of tutorials on my channel alone that you can use to learn. Uh, but once we actually have DaVinci Resolve booted up, again, I'll have a link in the description to download this. I'm just going to do YouTube guide sample, let's say, and I'll just do create and then what it will do is it'll take us into a brand new project. We can see these are all my previous projects. I actually edit my own videos inside of DaVinci. I go to the edit tab right here, go to file, go to project settings, make sure our frame rates on 60 FPS and our resolution is good. We press save. And just like that, we're actually set up to start making our own videos. So for example, I have a cut up version of my video right here. Um, I'm just going to drag this in. So let's say this is what our footage looks like, right? We have our footage just like this and it's overlaid over top of each other. I'm just going to be showing you the basics of the software. I'm not going to be going over anything too in depth. I have a tutorial on how to actually edit YouTube videos up on my page that should be live by now. Uh, so make sure to go check that out. The first thing I'm going to be showing you guys is how to just cut footage pretty much super easy. Press B on your keyboard and click anywhere on the video that's going to cut it. And then obviously you click it, delete, we'll get rid of it. If you want, you can press shift and delete at the same time. That'll just delete the portions and auto fill the space with the next part of the video. It's just super easy in that sense. DaVinci Resolve also has a bunch of built-in transitions that you guys can just drag on directly to your footage. So for example, if you want to drag that on right there, I edit my the super flip. easy transition between the two. You can do the same thing with audio transitions. They have a bunch of different movement transitions. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much the basics of the software. I have a ton of beginners tutorials. I'll probably link a tutorial down below in the description if you guys want to check that out. Um, but yeah last thing just like fading you just drag in these white dots and that is how you fade right, audio guys, or video well, it's super super simple that's just kind of it from a beginner surface level also if you go to the open effects uh tab there are a ton of different effects that you guys can use there uh if you install plugins but yeah that's pretty much that again if you want to focus on video editing i'll have a tutorial linked in the description or you could just check my page for the how to edit youtube videos in 2023 uh so go check that out if you want to do that and now what we're going to be doing is i'm going to be focusing on the render settings so we just come on over here to the render settings the render settings i use i'll just name it whatever so sample studio whatever i will go to browse here i'll find wherever i want to render it out to and then what i'll do is i will restrict it to normally 160 or 180 000. so 160 and then three more zeros i leave this all default 60 fps whatever add it to the render queue i'll render it out and then what i'll do uh, moving on to the uploading portion once we've actually completed everything else i will go onto youtube then what i will do is i will go right here to the plus i will upload the video just like this i let it load for a second and then what i'll do is i will look up whatever video i want so let's say we're just uploading this file we find the file which is our final edited version of our video now i'm going to be going over the basics of this which is super important if you want your video to do well in the algorithm the first step is your title you want a catchy title so this one let's say is how to edit tiktoks i'm going to do how to edit i'll make edit capital viral tiktoks just like this then in brackets i'll do uh, com complete 
guide for beginners or something like that. That's a good title. You want it around 40 to 60 characters around there uh, on mobile. 50 characters is where it cuts off before it goes into dot, dot, dot and cuts off the title. So try to have the main idea of the video in less than 50 characters. Um, and then what I'll do is I'll copy the title, put it in the description for SEO purposes. Don't really need that. Um, for me, I do a brief summary. So I'll do blah, 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 type, you know, what the video is about. I'll put in whatever links I need to do. So for example, this video, I talked about different software downloads. I put that in the description, credit my design or whatever. It doesn't really matter. Upload the thumbnail. So I'll just use a random thumbnail. Um, I'll use the one from the, let's just say, I don't know. This is just like a basic um, thing. So let's just say we get a random thumbnail, how to edit Fortnite montages in 2021. That's a super, super old thumbnail. Just upload whatever thumbnail you are using for the video, add it to a playlist if you want. So for me, I'll do like Joshi tutorials. And then for tags, this is probably the most important step. Reword your title as many different ways as you can. So how to edit TikToks, TikTok editing tutorial. You get the idea. Um, After Effects, TikTok, like like that pretty much. And then once you're done all your tags, try to max it out in 500 characters. Copy it just like this, put it in the description. That's pretty much all you need to do. I have all these on default. I go next, I turn on monetization because you know I have monetization unlocked and then you go through the next few things and you schedule the video or publish it. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it for the video. I know it wasn't the longest video and I just kind of briefly touched up on each aspect, but I just thought I would show you the brief kind of idea of how um, the process looks like for uploading YouTube videos, especially at kind of like professional level. But if you guys did enjoy, you learned something, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Timestamps will be in the description if you guys want to go back to any of these portions. And with all that covered, I hope you guys enjoy, like I said, and I will see you guys in a future video on the channel. Peace out.